You never quite know when things are going to turn on you out on the water, kind of like the crew aboard the yacht Scandal found out as seen in the images here. This crew was out enjoying a day of yachting when the next thing they know, they wound up crashed on the rocks after having some issues. They're not the only ones that are going to have some issues, we're going to see several in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the Arkansas River where this was the scene this past weekend when a barge was being towed down the river when all of a sudden it wound up colliding with a bridge. The incident occurred along I-59 where the vessel wound up hitting a pier of the bridge near Salisaw, Oklahoma. The video images here show the actual collision where the barge struck the bridge and then it shows the breakup where the barges actually break up off the towing vessel blocking parts of the river. Fortunately, this incident was witnessed by several Good Samaritans who were able to contact local authorities and make them aware of the situation. Local Department of Transportation officials wound up closing the bridge for several hours while they brought their engineers out to inspect the structural integrity of the bridge. After a few hours, the bridge was reopened to traffic. The barge as well was also stopped and inspected to make sure it was safe to travel down the river. The barge did suffer some damage, but fortunately in this incident, no injuries were reported and once again, the bridge was reopened just a few hours later, which is a fortunate situation because it wasn't long ago that we just had the Baltimore incident where a bridge wound up collapsing after a vessel hit the bridge there, but not far from here even, the Weber's Ferry Bridge back in 2002, very close to this scene, actually wound up being hit by a barge as well and collapsing also. Fortunately, there's a much better result in this incident. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Mexico, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago at the port of Altamira, when a crew was working to unload steel cables off a cargo ship when all of a sudden the mobile crane that was being used to unload the cables wound up catching fire and collapsing on the vessel it was trying to unload. An investigation has been launched to try and determine exactly what happened here, but early reports indicate the fire initially began at the base of the crane, prompting immediate action for crews to evacuate the area. The crane eventually became fully engulfed in flames and wound up crashing onto the vessel as seen in the images very close to the bridge of the boat. At this time, crews believed that the fire actually started from an oil leak on the crane as it was working to try and unload the vessel. At this time, there's been no official report of any injuries during this incident and it's unsure at this time if port operations will be halted due to the loss of the crane. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to keep us over in Mexico where this was the scene just a little over a day ago when the 75,000 deadweight ton bulk carrier Panama Alexander was coming into port in Lazaro Cardenas when all of a sudden during its mooring operations things got a little out of hand and the vessel wound up colliding with the concrete dock causing massive damage to the port and some minor damage above the waterline to the vessel itself. As will be seen in a few moments isn't it? images here, you're going to be able to tell this vessel made contact pretty hard with the dock wall. Fortunately in this situation, no injuries were reported during the incident, but the vessel will have to remain at port for a little while as they inspect the hull to make sure there's no major damage. But as you can see, as they approach the concrete dock, man, this thing hit hard hard. At this time, there's an investigation underway to see what happened to cause the 225 meter vessel to wind up colliding with the dock wall, but at this time, there's been no information given to what the actual cause of the accident was. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us over to Baltimore, where big news happened just on Monday as officials are working to try and get the port back open and operational. Officials in Baltimore announced on Monday that they've opened a temporary channel for storing some traffic that is coming in and out of the port of Baltimore. Local officials claim that the new secondary channel will allow some tugboats and barges that have been stuck in the harbor since the collision with the Francis Scott Key Bridge to finally be able to try and exit out. The draft of the new channel is only 11 foot, so local officials say this will not restore all the traffic, it's just going to allow some. They are working on a secondary passage now through one of the other bridge locations that will hopefully have about a 15 to 16 foot draft, really allowing most of their tugboats and barges to gain access to go through through the channel. But local officials will repeat that this still is only a fraction of what they typically see traffic-wise coming through the port. They're hoping to try and open a third access point at some point here in the near future that should have a 25-foot draft really more or less opening the harbor back up, but this is under the main portion of the bridge that did wind up collapsing 
and local officials claim they have no timeline as to when that will exactly happen due to the complexities they're facing as they try and remove the portions of the bridge that are blocking that part of the channel. And even adding to the complexity of this, the actual vessel that hit the bridge is still there as of the time of making this video as well, as the weight of the bridge sitting on top of its deck is actually holding it in place and not allowing crews to be able to move the vessel. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button.